This LOS is explained how the evaluation and selection of capital projects is affected by mutually exclusive projects, project sequencing, and capital rationing. So continuing with basics of capital budgeting, there's only one slide for this LOS. And again, we're just looking at some definitions that are important to understand and be able to remember. So the first is independent projects versus mutually exclusive projects. Independent projects are projects whose cash flows are independent of each other. Mutually exclusive projects compete directly with each other. For example, if projects A and B are mutually exclusive, you can choose A or B, but you cannot choose both. Project sequencing. Many projects are sequenced through time so that investing in a project creates the option to invest in future projects, okay? So if I build a resort, the next thing that I might be able to build is a marina beside it, but I'm not gonna build the marina until the resort is built, okay? So that's project sequencing. Unlimited funds versus capital rationing. If the company has more profitable projects than it has funds for, it must allocate the funds to achieve the maximum shareholder value subject to the funding constraints. So we'd add up all the projects within the uh, capital budget that's gonna give the highest NPV. And that's the last slide and only slide for this LOS. Thank you.